Should you start a cleaning company today? Hi, my name is Nate Jones and this segment is Business Idea Breakdown, where I break down a business idea and at the end of it, I give it a score between one and 10. Cleaning companies, I'm gonna give it a score between one and 10. Check out my channel, I have other videos that other businesses I'm gonna evaluate. So this cleaning, a cleaning company, house cleaning, that's what I'm primarily focusing on, is house cleaning. I'm gonna go through six things. Is it scalable? Can it be profitable? How easy is it to start? How much time does it cost you? What are the challenges? And lastly, how much can you sell it for? Because that's the only thing that matters in my opinion is down the road, can you sell your business? Because you're building equity. Okay, let's get into it. Number one, is a cleaning company, a house cleaning company scalable? I would say yes, because you can hire additional employees to go clean for you. You can um, hire as many people as you want. As long as you have enough jobs, you can continue to hire people to go clean for you. Now, if it's just you, you can only do so much to scale it. But as you multiply people and vehicles, if you're gonna add vehicles and hire employees, you can scale a cleaning company. One issue with that is that it may be hard for you to find employees just like everybody else is having difficulty right now. But that being said, if you pay people the right way and you find the right people, you can scale a cleaning company. Number two, is it profitable? The one thing I love about a cleaning company, the idea of starting a cleaning company from my perspective is, oh my gosh, what are my fixed costs? What are the things that I need to buy to start a cleaning company? Well, I gotta buy cleaning supplies, uh, maybe a nice vacuum, and I can probably use my personal vehicle to travel from appointment to appointment. So the upfront costs, I'm thinking maybe $200 for a vacuum, maybe a nice one you're spending 300, and maybe another couple hundred dollars in cleaning supplies, like, geez, I mean, how quickly can you turn a profit if you spend 500 bucks? Well, I looked it up, an average clean, for like a house, and this is for like Airbnbs and also house cleans, but it's anywhere from like 150 to $300. So let's, let's do an average of $200. If you're getting $200 a clean, it's gonna take you three cleans to make a profit. That is pretty good. I would say that business is very profitable from the beginning. You're probably gonna make a profit within the first week if you can get three cleans within the first week. So, so far, I love this business because you can scale it, you can add employees, and it's super profitable. Number three, how easy is it to start? Uh, doing some research, there's actually websites in which you can put your business on there that you clean houses. There's one called Turnover for Airbnb. You can put a profile on there where they're looking for somebody to clean an Airbnb. And let's be honest, how easy would it be to clean an Airbnb? Every time I stay somewhere, half the time I'm not in half of the rooms and I don't create that big of a mess, so it's probably pretty easy to clean, right? So putting your name out there, getting on social media, um, it's probably pretty easy to start a cleaning company because all these websites are looking for cleaners. It seems like there's a shortage of cleaners, good cleaners, um, in the United States. I have a buddy who owns an Airbnb management business and this is what kind of inspired me to make this video. He said, man, I cannot find a good cleaning company. They don't show up on time. Um, even I'm paying them like 200, $250 per clean and they still can't show up. So. Ease of entry, I would say it's very easy to start a cleaning company, um, very easy to get on social media. If you have any sort of computer knowledge whatsoever, you can probably start a cleaning company. Um, very easy to set up an LLC and all that. Anyways, the fourth thing here that I'm grading this on is how much time is it gonna cost you? What I love to do in the time section is I love to provide a $50,000 salary as a comparable, right? When I say time, is this a side hustle or is this something that you can quit your job and go fully in? So I started doing the math and I said, okay, if we do 200 cleans, right? And um, I'm making $50,000 a year. I think the math was you have to do five cleans at $200. Let's say this is all profit, right? You have to do five cleans, probably five to six cleans a week to make $50,000 a year. Uh, I, I, did some research, I said how often does it, how long does it take for a clean? About an hour, an hour and a half. So if you're doing five cleans, it takes you an hour and a half, you're spending 10 hours a week, right? 10 hours a week, if you're doing five cleans a week, which is pretty easy, maybe 10 hours, maybe eight hours a week cleaning to make $50,000. That's insane to me. 
Why would you work for somebody else for eight hours when a day to make $50,000 when you can start a cleaning company and probably get five cleans if you charge $200? I mean, you have some fixed costs, you probably have to buy some insurance, you have to buy some things. Let's be honest, maybe it's, maybe it's seven or eight cleans a week. Still, you're only working probably 15 hours a week. That's not bad, you gotta travel there, maybe 20, but still, you're working half the amount of hours to make 50,000. This is a pretty good business. This is almost encouraging me to start a cleaning business if I had the extra time to do it. So, time, it checks out. Now, as you scale your business, time's gonna be your biggest thing as you're running your own business is, hey, if I have 20 cleans in a week, at some point, you gotta hire somebody. So, what's, that's the biggest challenge that I saw. This, this sixth thing that I look at is, um, or the fifth thing that I look at is challenges. What are some challenges of the cleaning industry? I think the challenge is, just like any business, is lead generation. That is getting enough appointments, getting enough cleans on your calendar. And I'm sure there's tons of YouTube videos that go through that, but me evaluating it, that's always one thing that I look at is, hey, lead generation is gonna be hard no matter what business you're in. No matter what business you start, you have to have a funnel of leads coming in. And especially in cleaning, you have to get jobs or else you're not gonna make money. So that might be a challenge. Another challenge is finding people to clean for you, finding people that you trust as you scale, taking some of those tasks that you're doing. Maybe you don't need to clean anymore. Maybe you're managing everybody else who's cleaning and, and making money off the cleans, not as much, but you're not doing as much and you can scale it. So I think the challenges are making sure you're organized as you scale and then also um, just ensuring that you're having a grasp on things that are done quality because uh, I can see that this could get way out of way out of way out of track and you could be uh, some jobs are not getting cleaned and then your reputation goes down and then your business could possibly go down so that's one challenge now the sixth thing that I look at is selling your cleaning business so I was trying to look at a decent um, a decent revenue marker. I put a million, that might be a little high, right? You're thinking, oh, I'm starting a cleaning company, I'm only gonna make 50,000, but if you really think about it and you scale it over a number of years, you could probably get to a million dollars in revenue. If you got to a million dollars in revenue, the EBITDA, which is earnings before taxes depreciation, which is a fancy way of saying net income, so it means your profit, um, let's say we, we used a million dollar shop, let's say your profit is after you pay everybody, 500 grand, right? The EBITDA is three to six times. So if we do a, let's just do the low end, three times, you're doing 500,000 net income, 500 times three, that puts you at 1.5 million. What you can sell this business for? Wow, that is insane to me. That you can start a cleaning company that does not require a college degree, it does not require you to have any sort of, any sort of expertise, just the attention to detail, really, um, and scale that thing to a million dollars and have a net income of 500,000 that you can walk away with 1.5 million? Dang, that's not bad. That is not bad at all. So when I gave this a score between one to 10, I scored this as an 8.3. The reason I scored it as an 8.3, which eight, anything over eight, great business. I would start a business over eight. The reason I did 8.3 is because I feel like there will be a challenge to get over a million dollars because it's very hard for you to manage this business. In my opinion, some of the negatives about it is, hey, if I'm in a city, I can run it in that city, but it's very hard to franchise it or you know, move that business into multiple states because you only have so much management that you're only so much. Now, I'm not saying it's not possible. What I'm saying is I think you can grow it to a certain size and it's gonna be really hard for you to multiply it. I know there's franchises of cleaning companies out there, which could be a possible opportunity for you. But like I said, since it's so easy to start, um, you have to have some sort of competitive advantage that somebody wouldn't just say, hey, why am I working for you? I'm gonna go start my own. So I think just because of how easy it is to start, if I was working for a cleaning company, I was a cleaner, I would at some point say, See you later, I'm gonna go start my own. So I think that's one thing that's gonna be really hard to scale this business is people leaving you and starting their own. So that being said, hey, this is a great business for you to start anything over eight. I think you could have a lot of success in this if you put in the time and you put in the effort. Comment below, do you have any questions about this? Anything that I missed? Subscribe and like and check out my other videos. I am rating businesses and some of them are not as good as this one. Some of them you need to avoid. Some of them might be better, but you need to check it out.